Good morning. Welcome. Three minutes on markets and money. Let's talk about markets yesterday. Markets opened lower yesterday, but then rallied back in the afternoon, back to all-time closing highs. So pretty impressive recovery, but volume on this rally was exceptionally light. The good news is, is that money flows over the last few trading sessions have been improving. So in other words, while volume has been light, which is a bit of a concern for markets, again, breadth, very narrow, uh, markets are very driven by smaller groups of stocks, of course, but the overall demand for buying, right? So people bidding up in prices has been positive. So money flows has been improving, but again, markets holding up here, making marginal new highs at this point. Now this morning, markets are gonna open a bit lower. We're gonna probably try to retest the 20 day moving average here at the open. We'll see what happens. Over the last few days, these little dips have been buying opportunities. People keep showing up to buy stocks, even in the midst of the fact that we're about to face potentially the Fed talking about taper, the end of earnings season, etc. So yes, we've had a very strong earnings season. Didn't really get paid for it very much, though, despite the fact that markets are hitting new highs. Again, it's been marginal, uh, despite the fact we've had one of the strongest earnings seasons really kind of on record. Uh, one of the bigger concerns here, of course, is that our money flow signals are getting very extended here again. Uh, we're very long in the cycle without a correction. And normally these periods of advance in the markets have been resolving themselves into a retest of the 50 day moving average repetitively here over the last several months. So again, we're about at that point that markets have kind of exhausted their current move higher. So a retest of the 50 day moving average, certainly well within norms right now, that's about a three and a half percent decline from yesterday's peak. The thing here to watch though is the 10-year treasury. That continues to tell us that we are in a weaker economic environment ultimately as yields continue to fall. We did have a bit of a rally here back to the 50-day moving average, which was not surprising given the kind of oversold condition we had after this previous sell-off in rates. But again, that resolved itself into basically more buying into bonds. We're seeing rates fall back here to below support. And again, about to trigger another buy signal for bonds. Again, this suggests that economic growth is weaker than expected and potentially is denoting a shift in risk preference from risk on to risk off. Again, markets have been making marginal new highs, but in light of marginal new highs, bonds have had a very, very strong rally. So again, this risk on risk off preference clearly showing up on the fixed income side of the ledger. I'm your host, Lance Roberts for three minutes on markets and money. See you back here tomorrow.